So a few weeks ago, about, I don't know, three weeks ago or something, this map was suggested, An Abandoned World by the creator of the map, Equis, or Equis, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Sorry it took me so long to play it too. Anyway, um, I think it's similar to the Abandoned Places map, which I really enjoyed, so I thought I'd try this one too. I haven't played it before, so I'm not really sure if the rounds are going to be like photospheres or if I'm going to be allowed to move around. I am going to do a... A three minute per round time limit because that's what I did for the abandoned places map and I think it's what I did anyway and I'm actually gonna remember to do a challenge this time my apologies for forgetting to do challenges all um, in a lot of the previous videos I already explained why um, basically because I'm used to doing videos in which it would disqualify me for something if I did a challenge so anyway we're in photosphere here uh, I'm not supposed to look at the name of the person who took it but it's a Polish name I accidentally looked at it it's kind of hard not to uh, however I don't know if this is actually Poland I think it's the UK or Ireland we're driving on the left here by uh, based on this car but I can't see what side of the I mean what color the license plate is uh, that one looks like it's a white plate actually so it could also be New Zealand I don't know how to like rule that out um, I guess the road markings would be the best the best way to rule that out. Yellow signs here actually, I'm thinking it's not um, the UK because I think their signs are more similar to the rest of the uh, rest of Europe I think. Um, so I feel like the caution signs aren't going to be yellow like that, I don't remember though. Um, I think I'm going to go New Zealand on this one. It's probably going to be a bad guess, let's look at the buildings. I don't really, I don't really know actually. Uh, the style of the road too, I don't know. It doesn't, it looks more like rounds that I've gotten in Australia and New Zealand rather than in the UK. So I think I'm going to go New Zealand. What's the actual abandoned thing here? I guess this, it's an old train bridge or something, but the train track, they just got rid of the rest of it. They kept the bridge though. Um, yeah, so it's kind of hilly. I'm going to go up near Auckland, maybe, or near Hamilton in this area here. I'm not going to trust the photosphere or anything. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off is that the name of the guy is Polish, but I know there's Polish people all over the place. Um, I would assume there's some in uh, New Zealand, too, because I don't think it's the UK. If it's not New Zealand, I think it's Ireland. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go New Zealand. I might regret this if it's Ireland, but... Yeah, it was Ireland. Shit. Okay. No points, so it was near Cork. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but since we're here, we might as well look around a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess the, the yellow sign thing was just throwing me off. Maybe I was wrong about that. Um, let's move on here. Not a good score so far. And this one, we're going to be able to move around. It's the U.S. for sure. Um, but I'm not sure where. If I had to guess right now, I'd say, um, let's see, where would I say? Uh, Kansas, Nebraska, maybe. There's some mountains, though, or hills. So, actually, no, maybe, like, Colorado or um, Wyoming. A lot of Wyoming's coverage is kind of crappy, though, so maybe not Wyoming. Passing lane. Let's see if we can... If there's a passing lane, although there is a bit of a hill, but I assume that means that it's probably a bit of a, a more heavily traveled route. Oh, shit, there we got a sign 20 in 60... 20 and 26. That's in Colorado, isn't it? That's 36. Okay, so it's... Uh, well, it'll be farther north. So it is in... Wait. 20... I guess it's in Wyoming then. 26 is there and 20 is there. What the hell? I don't know where the 18 is. Oh, okay. Where is that coming from? Okay, it comes down there. 26 and 20. So... I guess in this part it's both 26 and 20, so we're somewhere in here. Um, so it was Wyoming. So we're going southeast, and there's a curve. <laughs> that, that applies to a lot of places along here. There's supposedly a rest area there, so let's not go there. Um, wait. Southeast, and then it curves. It goes even more south up ahead. So somewhere like this. Let's go back to the start. I think I'll be relatively close, uh, regardless of... Um, yeah, regardless of how accurate it is, it should be a good score just because um, I'm 
I've got the, the area right in it. It's a worldwide map. Won't entirely make up for the first round, though, unfortunately. That's a very short passing lane. Anyway, so we do have some buildings here. Maybe I should have gone this way. Still have a minute left, so maybe I can find this road. Um, I don't know what this is, if it's going to show up on the map. But it looks like they have some sort of business there. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these are going to help. So this this curves back. Uh, oh wait a minute. Wait, we're wait. What did that curve do? We're going really far southeast now. Oh, maybe it's here. Yeah, that would make a bit more sense. Um, there are a few roads going on here. Do we have another curve up here? Like up ahead. Yeah, there's a curve to the left. I'm going to go there. I think it should be good. It's not going to be... Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess that makes more sense. I should have looked around a bit more, but it's close enough. Only 200 points off. It's a lot better than the zero I got last round. Let's move on here. Is it going to be... Oh, it's a photosphere again. Um, I'm not really sure. I accidentally looked at the the uh, name again. Ali Reza. That, isn't that... More like Persian, though, not like Arab. Uh, the writing, I don't know. I'm going to say this is Iran, not uh, not uh, like whatever. The rest of the Middle East. Um, I think I should recognize, I believe it's Farsi. Because um, I work in an area with a lot of... A lot of Persians, so I see a lot of the writing. However, I don't see Arabic writing, so like I don't really know how to like compare them. I know they're different. Uh, I'm gonna say this is Iran, though. Anyway, um, let's go with that. I'm not gonna spend too much time here because I don't really know, like where. I don't know how uh, this building is pretty big, but I don't know if that means that we're necessarily in a bigger city because I, uh, as I saw with Turkey, they have a lot of big buildings in relatively small places. Uh, I feel like. Isfahan or one of these might be a good option because it's a bit more central than Tehran, right? I don't know. Could be over here too. Actually, I could just look at the writing here. So this is, I believe they use Arabic in Iraq, right? So yeah, I think it's it's Iran. So. I don't know if, if it's Farsi or what, what it's called, but anyway, let's just go with Tehran here. Somewhere like this. Let's see, ah, oh, shit, it was Isfahan. I was or on the outskirts of Isfahan. I was saying that I should go there because it's a bit more central, but then I kind of changed my mind thinking that it might be more likely to be in Tehran. But anyway, uh, still a decent score. It's, it's not really going to make up for the, the first round, but... Um, Still not going to get, obviously not going to get it over 20,000, that would be impossible, but I'm aiming for like 15,000 at least, but this one's going to be a bit tougher. This is kind of interesting, though, look how like barren the landscape is. There's nothing here other than this one, is this like a church or something, or a mosque, or is it, I don't know. The top thing looks, it reminds me of some of those mosques in like... Iran and Turkey and Egypt and stuff, but the building doesn't really look like a mosque. Um, and I also don't know, like, why is this, why is there no trees here? Is this because it's, like, I don't know, I was going to say, is it far north or something, or just like a, no, I don't know, it doesn't look like it. Look at those trees over there. I have no idea what to do here. Like, I'm not even, there's not even, like, a, a vibe or anything I'm getting from this that I can, like, assume it's somewhere. Because I can't even really see that. That looks kind of more like something that you'd get in a tropical, like, a beach type of thing. Actually, I think I see a boat there. Can't see the houses clear enough to really make a judgment based on them. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm thinking, like, I don't know. Because, like, the absence of trees is confusing me. But, like, this type of more tropical beach-looking thing uh, could be... And, I, I don't know. 
should I assume that this is a mosque based on that? Or could just, no, actually, I think it's a lighthouse. Yeah, I think it's probably, a, no, I don't know. Might be too far from the water, though, to be a lighthouse. I don't know. Actually, now I'm thinking Brazil on the coast up here because I have gotten rounds, I think, that are somewhat similar to this in terms of, like, well, the dirt color is not really Brazilian. What's that? Can't really read that. Uh, the name I did, I know I should probably shouldn't look at the name of the person who took it because it's kind of cheating, but the name's not really doing anything for me anyway. Jury bars. I don't know. Uh, why does my mouse thing have that loading thing next to it? Anyway, I think I'm just going to go Brazil, though. Um, on the coast somewhere. I don't know, just around there. It's going to be way off, perhaps. Oh, it actually wasn't horrible. So it was Curaçao. Wait a minute. Klein Curaçao shipwreck. I actually haven't heard of that. Uh, I've heard of Curaçao, but I haven't heard of that specific island. So unfortunately, even though I got, I don't know if Curaçao is considered South America or the Caribbean, but I got the continent kind of right, if it's considered South America. It should be, because it's just off the coast of Venezuela. But anyway, uh, the score wasn't good, though. So this is not going well at all. Uh, so we're at a nuclear plant here in the UK, I'm assuming. Unless it's Ireland. Um, let's just do my normal UK or normal strategy in most countries to look for highway numbers. Darnby, Stained, well it's definitely the UK I think, but I don't know. Those places, I don't know, they sound familiar, but I probably just like know them because there's stuff named after them in North America. Or streets named after them, cities, whatever. Um, but I need a highway number because I don't. I don't know where to look. Um, I wonder how I do at the UK country streak thing. I feel like I do really bad because I don't know a lot of the places. Uh, anyway, let's see if I can get something. Um, what was that on the sign? I think it was probably one of the places that I saw earlier. Yeah, Barnby. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to look for that yet because I... I want to look for, I want to get a highway number just so I can narrow it down to a certain area and then I'll look for Barnby. Uh, yeah, just because I don't know where to start looking. Like, it could be any, well, I'm sure if you're familiar with the UK, you'll know. If you don't know the place name, if you don't know where Barnby is, you'll know the general area based on the, the landscape, but I don't. So, um, I'm going to have to use a bit, or I'm going to have to get a bit more, um, a bit more clues than that, I think. Uh, let's go back into the town here. Maybe I can get... I want a highway number, though. Why is there no... These roads look relatively big. I wonder why there's no highway number. Wait a minute. Okay, I just saw all these words here for one place, and I thought it might be a bilingual sign, but I don't think that's the case. Um... Yeah, it's not the case. Thorpe in Balne or something like that. I don't know. I don't think this place is going to be that like big enough that I could just... I don't know. Um, I only have 40 seconds left. Let's actually go back to the start and go the other way this, this way. Because it looks like there's a junction. Oh, that's a curve in the road. That's not a junction. Crap. Uh, okay. This is, that was a bad idea to go this way, so I'm just going to look on the map and hope for the best. Hope I can find Barnby, I think. I don't know how big it's going to be. Um, if I had to guess, I'd just stick it up here somewhere. I don't know. If you saw my UK perfect score, you'll know that I'm not very good at this. Uh, especially with no highway numbers. Maybe it's farther north. Holy shit, that was actually good. I kind of did it based on the... Oh, there's Thorn. I think I saw that on one of the signs. So actually, all those place names, I would have had to zoom in quite a bit to see. Barnby done. So it wasn't just Barnby. I thought, okay, yeah, so that, like, I don't know. I wouldn't have been able to find that. I, I think that score was pretty good. It was almost as good as the, um, the American round there, the Wyoming round, in which I got a, a sign pointing to the correct highway. Actually, it was a... 
place where the highways were running together, and it wasn't that long of a place, so that's not a great guess, I guess, now that I think about it, based on the information given. Um, anyway, so, let's review this. Overall, the scores for 4 and uh, 1 were pretty bad. However, I'm kind of happy with this, the fourth round, that guess. Um, the only one that I really screwed up was the... The only one that I would consider a big screw up, I guess, was the first round where I put New Zealand instead of Ireland. At least I did rule out the UK, but I don't know. I probably should have gone Ireland, but I guess I'm just not that familiar with what Ireland looks like in general, with their roads at least, because uh, quite often I do get confused with New Zealand. But anyway, thanks for the suggestion, and thanks for creating this map. I had fun playing it, and unfortunately my score wasn't great at all. So... Um, let's hope that some people will do better than me in the challenge. Uh, the link will be in the description, assuming I haven't lost it somehow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any more suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. I do have a lot of or a few suggestions that I still want to play that I haven't gotten to yet. So it might be like a few weeks or a month or something before I actually get to uh, any of the suggestions. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.